six years ago, if you would have told me I would be a health and fitness coach, no one would have believed you. My health and fitness journey and my business cross training women is a total God thing. Growing up, I was a super picky eater. My usual diet consisted of cinnamon toast crunch for breakfast, a plain ham sandwich with chips, Oreos, and strawberries dipped in sugar. I'd have a bowl or two of mint chocolate chip ice cream every day, as well as a can or two of Coke. For dinner, I would have a plain baked potato loaded with butter and salt, and I would have a McDonald's hamburger Happy Meal at least two to three times per week. What offset my poor diet was my love for soccer. I started playing competitive soccer when I was just eight years old. It was my passion and my life revolved around soccer. When I hit high school, the effects of my poor eating habits started to show I started gaining some weight, especially in my midsection, and I definitely became more and more self-conscious. My mom and I both remember going shopping for prom dresses my junior year and how hard it was for me to find a dress that didn't accentuate my stomach pouch. I remember just being so frustrated and embarrassed, and I ended up in tears that day because I hated the, my body and the way I looked. I knew it had to do with my diet, but I wasn't willing to change due to the simple fact that I hated the way all plant-based foods tasted. Vegetables, gross. Salads were bland. Beans were repulsive, and even fruit wasn't something I liked or ate. Yet, despite eating this way all through college, I still somehow ended up with a very successful D1 soccer career at Marquette University. All I can say and do is give thanks and all the glory to God. I did lose some weight during the four years I played in college due to the intensity and frequency of our strength training, our conditioning, our practices, and of course playing. However, I still really struggled with body image in comparison, especially around my teammates. And my relationship with the Lord was also at an ultimate low. I definitely cared way more about what others thought of me, their acceptance, and their approval rather than God's. After my collegiate soccer career ended in the fall of 2012, I took a break from working out, but the break I really needed was from Coke, cheese pizza, and ice cream. It took less than six months for me to realize that I needed to make some serious changes in my life in order to lose the 10 pounds that I had gained, as well as be healthy. I remember seeing the highest number on the scale and it freaked me out. So I became open to trying some of these horrible plant-based foods. And I knew that I'd be forced out of my food comfort zone on my upcoming mission trip to Guatemala. And so I remember before the trip just praying that God would change my food palate. And he did. I had a bean burrito, I had eggs, and I had other fruits and vegetables that I never had before. And they weren't terrible. And so when I got home, I started to make some changes to my diet, some improvements, but not enough to make a noticeable impact. However, when I did come home, I started pursuing a relationship with God like I never had before in my life, and I also got back into the routine of working out regularly. Even though I had been an athlete my entire life, exercising just to work out was not something I enjoyed doing. It was definitely more of a chore than anything, and at the time, I thought that the best way for me to lose weight would be cardio, so I typically spent 30 to 45 minutes on a treadmill and I would leave completely drenched in sweat, thinking that I burned a whole lot of calories and fat. And I also incorporated some HIIT workouts at home, convinced that I was well on my way to becoming lean, something I was determined to do. Soon after graduation in January 2014, I moved out to Colorado and joined in on their known healthy lifestyle and continued seeking the Lord with all of my heart and soul. I began eating even healthier. I pretty much ditched my old diet and I jumped on the high protein, low carb diet that every health and fitness influencer advocated. In the morning, I'd eat something like Greek yogurt topped with fruit and granola, or I'd have spinach with eggs and tomatoes and feta. For lunch, I would usually have like a turkey sandwich with avocado or something like edamame pasta with vegetables and marinara sauce. And then practically every night for dinner, I would have um, some sort of lean chicken with half of a sweet potato and vegetables that were roasted in extra olive oil. 
During this time, I also joined a 24-hour fitness gym and religiously went to their classes, including things like body pump or any sort of high-intensity interval training class. And months went by, though, and I still was not making much progress, at least not the progress I felt I deserved or reflected my time and efforts. Not to mention, I was also restricting my calories or certain macronutrients, and so I was completely unsatisfied and, like, moody all of the time. And I even tried something like Advocare's 24 days challenge and thinking that their like fat burning supplement would be of any help. And I was just so frustrated and confused. I thought losing weight and being healthy should not be this hard. Like what am I doing wrong? In desperation, I began researching what other online fitness influencers were eating and their meal plans. I wanted to know exactly what to eat in order to be full and satisfied throughout the day, as well as allowed me to stay lean and trim. Like, was this even possible? It was during this quest that I stumbled upon a YouTuber who answered my question. In this video blog, this lean athletic woman revealed how she obtained her small waist and what she ate in a day. And I couldn't believe it. This woman ate tons of fruit, tons of carbs, and tons of calories. Like, this went against everything that I had ever seen or learned. I was definitely intrigued and excited, but I was fairly skeptical. So I decided to give it a shot and began with changing my breakfast to a five banana coconut water smoothie. And I quickly lost a few pounds and I was shocked. This spurred me on to watch more and more videos to see if this was the real deal. And I started making some more changes to my diet, eating a little bit more carbs and a little less fat and protein. And along the way, I discovered some other YouTubers who were eating the same way, and even some plant-based doctors like Dr. John McDougall, who recommended this way of eating, not only to help you lose and maintain weight, but also in order to prevent uh, different illnesses or even cure common diseases. With this science-backed approach and the improvements that I was seeing in my body, I fully bought in and completely went whole foods plant-based in May of 2016. I have never looked back since. For the first time in a long time, I ate guilt-free and I was ecstatic to ditch calorie counting and restricting. The best part was, once again, I was able to eat plenty of carbs, my favorite, and I not only felt better and lighter, but the biggest note improvement that I noticed was with my mood. And food was now something that I loved and enjoyed. It wasn't this struggle that resulted in this love-hate relationship. Around the same time, I also joined a new gym and started going to this weight and cardio circuit training class that was challenging and something that I actually enjoyed doing, especially now since I was starting to see some muscle tone and definition. Because I was losing several inches off of my waist, I was forced to go pants shopping. I went from like a size eight to a two, and in a little over a year, I weighed 123 pounds down from 145. But from that first number, the highest number, it was almost 30 pounds from that summer where I was like, I needed to make some serious changes. Um, so 123 was the lowest number I had seen pr probably since like middle school. My passion for health and fitness grew exponentially. In all of my free time, besides spending time with the Lord and growing in my faith, I dedicated to watching and learning and listening up on nutrition, and I loved it. Later that year, I went back to Guatemala, and after the trip, I felt like God was calling me to quit my amazing marketing job to go on the World Race, which is an 11-month mission trip to 11 different countries. It was during the middle of this trip that I started to spend a lot of time asking God what he wanted me to do. And I knew in my heart that I wanted to pursue a career in health and fitness and help other women who, like me, struggled with food and exercising, body image, and comparison. But I didn't think that God would call me to an industry that was so focused on the body and outward appearances. But God, however, opened my eyes to see how health and fitness could be a means for spiritual growth and transformation and how health and fitness could bring him honor and glory to him. And so that's when I knew I wanted to start my own business. As soon as I got home from the world race in August of 2018, I began pursuing my personal training license and plant-based nutrition certification. And I also soon came up with my business name, 
which perfectly describes what it's all about, cross-training women physically and spiritually. I dedicated the next year to studying fitness and nutrition and starting my business. And through this process, God has been so good and so faithful in making this dream become a reality. And in March 2020, I officially launched. I feel completely blessed to be able to do what I love, which is to help women live fully and abundantly through physical and spiritual transformation. And I hope that my story gives hope to women who feel like it's impossible to overcome their battle with food and exercise. If my story is resonating with you, then I really encourage you to follow Cross Training Women. And if you want extra help and accountability or you're just confused and lost and frustrated like I was, then I encourage you to look at the services that I offer and see how you can work directly with me. I would love to help you grow physically and spiritually. Thank you so much for watching my health and fitness journey video. I look forward to sharing more about my faith and about food and fitness with you.